Have you ever had a dream, a goal, of something that you aspire to achieve and you were so passionate about wanting to achieve it that you could taste it and that you couldn't stop thinking about it? What did you do about it? Well, it's good for all of us to have goals and things that we're striving to achieve in our life. It provides us with a deeper meaning and more sense of purpose in life. Greetings, friends. About three years ago, I did a video with a husband and wife that are friends of both Lacey and I. And in that video, I was helping them pack up as they were getting ready to move in a, to pursue a goal that they wanted to achieve. They were selling their house in the city and they were moving, moving away to pursue that dream. And here's a clip from that video when Justin talked about the dream, the goal that they were going to pursue. My wife Haley and I, we have had a dream our whole life. We really wanted to own land. Land is a big part of why we have been created as human beings. Uh, the original command to Adam was to tend and keep the earth. And that's something that's really been a part of my life, all my life. And we had the opportunity to purchase a vineyard and it's about 31 and a half acres down in South Carolina. And we just kind of left it in God's hands and we said, hey, if you want us to stay in Charlotte, we're happy. We've got an established home here and we, we are not going to be sad if we, if we had to stay. But if we're moving, this is gonna be a dream come true. I've always had the dream to own land, to use my land for the benefit for me and the benefit for others. And I've had a weird romantic attraction to the wine industry. And I've always wanted to own a vineyard just something about walking down the rows of grapes, uh, touching the vines, and just, it just helps you feel like you're a part of something greater than yourself. You know, we came across some land online one day, and we decided to take an opportunity to look at it and just see what it was about. And the path just became more clear and more clear and more clear as we said, hey, let's just try this. And here we are today. Mike is helping me move out of my house. Well, as I mentioned earlier, it's really good for us all to have goals that we are working towards. However, the sad reality of the matter is that sometimes things don't go according to plan. Regretfully, Justin and his wife Haley were unable to get this farm that they went down there to pursue their goal of having. And thing after thing just kept coming up. And for just some reason, things did not align for them to get that goal at that time. So what do they do? And what do you do when your goals don't quite line up the way that you originally planned? You just give up? You just sink down in this little box and just say, I'm done, I, I can't go on anymore? No, that's not what you do. You keep moving forward. That's right. Justin and Haley, had to take a detour for their goal. So recently we met up with them to talk about what their new goals are and how they're taking this new detour in life to continue to move forward. So over the past couple of years, you guys have uh, had to make a number of adjustments from what you originally had planned to do when you left uh, the Charlotte area before. So uh, what's that been like? No challenge. It's definitely been, been unique. We have uh, only until recently kind of figured out why we had actually moved down. For the longest time, it was it was unclear. We just kind of like wondered if we were given a, a golden carrot just to come down and, and do something else. But overall, over time, it's been good to be closer to family. Our family lives close by. It's also been good to kind of get back into connection with creation, um, just to kind of reconnect our minds to how God originally created us to, to think like. We also feel like it's kind of helped us reconnect with each other in our marriage and strengthen our marriage a lot more. And it's given us opportunities to grow and blossom and really develop our talents and abilities that kind of we weren't thinking about when we were up in Charlotte. And now I run my business and Haley does her art. It's just things we probably never would have taken the time to accomplish and, and goals that we probably would have never thought possible if we had not had this opportunity to move down. So. Overall, it's a, it's a very positive experience. I like your shirt. You even got the name of your business right there. <laughs> you know, it's uh, had an old wise man say, uh, not saying that anything's ever going to happen to us, but he said, if you put your name in your business, your wife can't ever take it from you. So. <laughs> <laughs>
Are we talking about our very thing strengthened? Yes. Oh, on that note, no, no. <laughs> you know you always gotta throw in the old man like funny wisdom. That's right. right. <laughs> this yeah. is Richco LLC. This is my metal business. It's steel, basically fabrication, steel erecting, and steel uh, just creation of different um, architectural elements, uh, any kind of structural steel. We do welding, all kinds of different things. Uh, if you're in the area of the upstate of South Carolina, the lower states of North Carolina, or the upstates of Georgia, I'd be happy to give you some service <laughs> in there we go. metal fabrication, steel erecting, and welding. There we go. Hey, that was a good commercial right there. I was thinking, that was a good commercial. Like, one shot, too. One shot. You gotta know when Have you been practicing that? You don't have to admit that left by in the mirror. In the mirror. You can. When Mike Dixon gets the camera, this is what I'm about to say. Oh, I got a chance. But I do want to say I'm proud of you for going through all the struggles and things that you've had to go through and adjustments you've had to make to, to making it happen. You with your business and now with you with your art, it's uh it's pretty amazing and commendable. And we're happy for you. I'll pretty be cool. honest, like if Really, it does come down to marriage because I believe one of the main reasons that we're so successful is because we try to bounce ideas off of each other and we try to build each other up and we try to actually work together with each other's goals. I support Haley with her art, she supports me with my business, and that is invaluable. If you have a teammate, it's really, it's, it's like a good football team or a good basketball team. If you've got a good team, it's going to go places, but if you've got a break, break up in the communication or break up in responsibility or you don't feel like you're supported in things, it, it really does affect the senses and affect the psyche of, of where you can take yourself in life. So that's a big key to you youngsters out there. And you old timers. What go. do we always say? Teamwork, Teamwork makes, makes the dream, dream work. Ah, there you go. <laughs> but it, it's true though, because I find a lot of times, you know, like when we're more in sync, you don't even have to ask as much, right? You know, you're just, you kind of anticipate what the other person's needing and who has something that's more time urgent and, you know, the, it just that's flows right. more. Yeah. And it's really, it's actually beautiful to mm. really happen. Yeah. That is great. So it's pretty exciting that Justin, he didn't give up, he decided to run an Audible and start his own business, even though it's not a farm right now, but he's still moving forward. Yeah, and it also gave Haley to run an Audible too, and pick back up something that she has really, is really, really passionate about and for a long time, and uh, it's her artwork. And you know, sometimes as a mom, you kind of have to put those things to the side and just take care of your family, and this has given her an opportunity to pick that back up, and it be a blessing to her family. Let's hear your story on how you started doing this new style. <laughs> well, I had an artist in Thailand reach out to me uh, to do a master class. Um, and everybody in the class, they used the same image. It was two adult elephants. And uh, we were all having fun. You know, we are all talking about the process. We had five days to go through it. And we were getting close to the end. The artist said, okay, everybody's challenge now is to take this piece um, they all look similar, a few variances, but the goal now is to take this piece and make it your own. Make it unique. And he said, I want it to pass the five second test, which is if this is an art gallery and you're looking through, you see pieces that are beautiful, but is it going to make you stop for longer than five seconds to say, what is it that draws me to this piece? And so I love charcoal. Charcoal is always my preference, but I thought, I've been playing around with watercolor. Why not add some in there? And so this new style kind of evolved through this challenge. It was kind of good to push myself. Like, what can I do that I haven't seen anywhere else that makes it my own is, you know, gonna make people say, I wanna look at this longer. So that's kind of how it evolved. And after telling us a little bit about what she's doing with her artwork, she next brought out and showed us all of her amazing designs. I gotta wait for better days. It's all starting now It's not too late, we can be saved If we make the time It's gonna be your right Had a clue, now I got a feeling Just gotta hold on tight Tonight, tonight
It's pretty neat to see the progression that she has made with her artwork. I still remember when she made one of her first couple posts on Instagram just showing some of her pieces and I was just like encouraging her, sending her notes. I'm like, that's amazing, Haley. You need to keep going with that. That looks yeah. pretty neat. Yeah. And then after some time, I actually ended up talking with her and I was like, why don't you just do a custom piece for us? So she did. And while we were there, she unveiled that piece for us. All right, you guys, here's your fantasy. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Oh, look. look Yay. At that. Oh, I love how the. We have a mama cow and a baby. This is an utterly great. So Please cool. tell me you're going to have a bloopers bro, because you're going to do it. <laughs> and I'm laughing at this painting. This is so cool. Thank you so much, you're Ailey. You're so welcome. Yeah. Awesome. Hi, honey. I love it. Thank the you. The detail on this one is probably the best. <laughs> <laughs> really fine spots on the head. Of I, that's the one with your face, right? <laughs> I think so. I don't know what it is about this one, but this is my favorite cow. Aww. I don't know why, but I like how it, it was takes a lot down of fun. the grass. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to create. I kind of like these two right there. I do yeah, too. I mean, I like them all. Like, I all have like little places. It's really like, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. He was it's a big help. Stuff. He was a big help with this piece. He held all my paintbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to hold them and chew them. Got a little assistant there. That's yeah. cool. so cute. <laughs> and man, the piece is absolutely amazing it really is so beautiful i love how she put the the detail in the grass just just love it and while we were there also decided to get two more pictures so you just kind of have to stay tuned to see what those <laughs> pictures are and where we're going to put them here inside our yurt but also while we were there she was finishing up a piece so we got to see her work on one firsthand in person yeah. of a duck one of my favorite farm animals <laughs> she was finishing it up this piece that she started on in her at her dining room table with her baby right on her lap so we got to see it the finishing touches on it Whenever Haley got done, we got to sit down and really chit chat with one another because we hadn't really seen each other in about three years since they moved. And it was really nice. We get to sit and talk about, you know, our struggles that we have been through over the years and how sometimes, even though you are doing everything you can do and things are lining up looking like they're going good bad things can still happen and sometimes you just have to let that stuff go and because you can only do what you can do.
A good little, you know, get your act together, and and you know it's funny because you know we hear all the time Matthew six thirty three, Matthew six thirty three, right? Mm -hmm. And you do, but I realized that I was focusing too much on the first part, seeking first the kingdom of God. Well, obviously, yes, but what does it say after that? The rest will be added unto you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I wasn't focusing on that promise of like if I'm actually seeking His kingdom first and everything that I'm doing properly. Mm -hmm. The rest is going to fall into place. It's yeah. going to be added to me. Yeah. To trust Him like, to fulfill that part yes, of it. And that's yes. the hard part. Is yes. I used to struggle with that. Well, how do I know God's going to do this? How do I, but that's why you just have to let it go. Mm -hmm. And bad things are going to happen <laughs> if you let them go or don't let them go. <laughs> and at some point, you just have to realize, you know what? I don't care if my credit score is crap. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if it's like that. God's still going to provide yeah. and he, whatever he wants, he's going to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I can't pay this bill and my credit score is going to be crap, then it'll be that way. Mm -hmm. But God will it'll, it'll figure it out. Let it go a lot of those you know? expectations and ideals that we have. We form so many ideals yeah. that society puts on us yes. that are not yes. from God. I was talking to somebody the other day yes. and they were concerned about homeschooling. And... I was asking, well, what are your concerns? And so they were sharing everything that they saw was, uh, you know, other people doing. Mm -hmm. And I said, I said, I want you to stop for a minute and think about how many things you do in a given day that is because it's a societal norm. Yep. Mm -hmm. The way that you brush your teeth, the fact that you put makeup on, the way that you style your hair, the color your hair is. If you even goes on, and even said, if you get ready and put makeup on or hair, or, I mean, <laughs> right? it's all about right. looking good for someone else. Right. Which I still do that to some degree, but sometimes it's like, you know right. what? I just can't. Right. So that's why I told her. I said, yeah. push past the societal norms, figure out what it is you want, what are your goals, and just work and what them. works for your family. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. So. I think we compare ourselves way too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The the daily battle <laughs> which even as an artist like you know I fell prey to that a lot at the beginning I took I, I noticed the mind shift I was trying to get inspiration to being like oh, but they're doing so much better and then mm -hmm. I realized like it's not about them it's like about, my art yeah. is the expression of me and if people like it awesome mm -hmm. like there's gonna be somebody who's gonna connect and resonate you know, with many different styles of art. And, and so if they don't, you. they like something else. And that's, and yeah, that's your stuff's not for them. And just right. I, right. Told, I did a thing on Instagram a while back. I was like, look, I was like, if you don't like me, then you can just unfollow mm -hmm. me. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, a button right there. you know <laughs> what? I'm not, it's not going to upset me. Yeah. But if what I'm saying upsets you, then don't follow me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, you to be upset. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want you to be upset. I just want you to do what's good for you. Right. Right. I had a farmer that I was helping out early on and he was kind of teaching me at the same time. One of the things that he said that really stuck with me is like, Mike, this is how we do it on our farm. Mm. You don't have to do it like that. Yeah. You can find out what works for you. You do it your way. That's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. And not trying to necessarily be exactly like somebody You're else. You're not trying or, to replicate them. Or, or be guilty because I'm not as far along as somebody on Instagram or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, you just make your own progress where you are and mm -hmm. continue to improve and, and be content with that. Right. And even some of our YouTube friends, I've had to just kind of take... I mean, we're friends, but I've had to take a break because it's like... I would see what all they were doing, where they were, mm -hmm. and then I Again, would get that, that yeah, yeah, I would get that, you know, like jealousy mm -hmm. rising up, and, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, I can't, I can't do that. We're at different places mm -hmm. for different mm -hmm. reasons, mm -hmm. and so I'm like, you know, if that's not serving me well, I just don't need to look at that for right now, mm -hmm. and I'll get to a place where I can appreciate mm -hmm. all the stuff that they're doing, and, and you know, it'd be good, and I, I have to work on that too, because... Yeah, it's still struggle. I think everybody struggles with oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So. I think it's going to be... There's a, there's a thing that, like, I've constantly been replaying in my head over and over through this season, and it's embrace the process mm -hmm. or embrace the journey. Like, mm -hmm. it's a process. It's, you know, it's not always going to look like this, and that's okay. <laughs> sometimes it's going to look better, and sometimes it's going to look worse. Yeah. <laughs> and right. that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. And again, I'm not saying that we don't have to do our part. We definitely have to do our part. But when we're doing our part, we have to just not worry about the rest of it. You mean you can't just kick back and say, oh, everything will take care of itself while I just sit here and do nothing? That's not how it works. Oh, man.
<laughs> yeah, thought that was gonna happen. But yep, that doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. We must do something about it. And it's so neat to see that Justin and Haley are doing something about it. Even though their goals didn't go quite the way they wanted to, they just decided to regroup, continue to move forward. So it's so neat to see what they're doing. And it's so neat to see all the beautiful pieces that Haley has put together. Yeah. So if you guys enjoy her pieces and want to support what she's trying to do, you can check out the show notes below where you can purchase some original pieces, some prints and cards, and even have Haley do a custom commission piece just check out the link in the show notes below. You can also follow her on Instagram where she likes to put a lot of the different pictures of her pieces on there. So feel free to check that out too. So we got the side where we're gonna put these pieces that we bought. So we actually got a print of a goat, which yeah. is pretty exciting. And what else did we get? One of your favorite animals. A Highland cow. Yeah, I love so. It. So exciting. So just stay tuned to see where we put those pieces because we still have to decide. See you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>